Hey guys, it's Leia. Today we'll talk about how to find the range of linear, quadratic, and radical functions. So what is a range? A range of a function is the set of values of the dependent variable, meaning y values or output values, for which the function is defined. Another way to think of the range is as the image of a function. Here's an image to better understand. Last video we said that the domain are the inputs of a function. The range is the output of a function. First, we'll talk about the range of linear functions. The range of linear functions goes from negative infinity to infinity. The range has no restrictions since it is defined at all its outputs. Here's an image of a linear function y equals x plus 2 to better understand y. Now we'll talk about the range of radical functions. The range of radical functions is when f of x is defined and there is no negative expression under the radical. In order to find the range, when you are given a radical function in this form, the range is when f of x is greater than or equal to k when c is positive. And when c is negative, the range is when f of x is less than or equal to k. Here is an image of a radical function, the square root of x plus 3, to better understand. Finally, we will talk about the range of quadratic functions. If the parabola opens up, then the range is from the vertex to infinity. If the parabola opens down, then the range is from negative infinity to the vertex. Here is an image of a quadratic function y equals x squared where the parabola opens up. There are a few steps to find the range of quadratic functions, so take note. First, you need to find the vertex. You can find the vertex by setting x equal to negative b over 2a to get the x-coordinate, and to get the y-coordinate, just plug x into the function. Second, determine whether the vertex is a minimum or a maximum. If a is greater than 0, then the vertex is a max. If a is less than 0, then the vertex is a min. Lastly, write the range. As I mentioned before, if the vertex is a max, meaning the parabola opens down, the range is from negative infinity to the y value of the vertex. If the vertex is a min, meaning the parabola opens up, the range is from the y value of the vertex to infinity. Let's see some examples. First example, find the range of f of x equals 5 times the square root of x plus 3 minus 4. For radical functions, we know the range is when f of x is greater than or equal to k, when c is greater than 0. Since 5 is greater than 0, we know that the range is when f of x is greater than or equal to negative 4. Next example, find the range of f of x equals x squared plus 5x plus 6. Since we are finding the range of a quadratic function, first we need to find the vertex. We find the x-coordinate first by plugging in the respective values. Then we plug the x-coordinate into the function to get the corresponding y-coordinate. So our vertex is at negative 5 halves, negative 1 fourth. Second, we want to determine if the vertex is a min or a max. For this, we look at the value of a. In this case, a equals 1, and since 1 is greater than 0, the vertex is a max. So the parabola opens down. Finally, we write the range. The range is when f of x is less than or equal to negative 1 fourth. Last example, find the range of f of x equals negative 2 times x squared plus 4x plus 3. First, we find the vertex since the function is a quadratic. We plug in the respective values to find the x-coordinate. Then, we plug x into the function to get the y-coordinate. So, our vertex is at 1, 5. Next, we want to determine if the vertex is a min or a max. We look at the value of a. a equals negative 2, which is less than 0, so the vertex is a min. This means the parabola opens up. Finally, we write the range. The range is when f of x is greater than or equal to 5. Finding the range of functions is trickier than finding the domain. It requires a lot of practice. Next video, we will talk about how to find the range of rational functions. 
For more help or practice on this topic, visit www.symbolab.com and click on the Practice tab.